instead of the rocket's red glare, you had the sprint car's dusty trail. But on this day, both are clear displays of patriotism. I don't know what you can ask for on the 4th of July. I mean, this is what it's all about, a country coming together. Legendary sprint car driver Jack Hewitt might drive a yellow car, but on the inside, he's all red, white, and blue, which is why he was giving rides to raise money for the Mission Veterans to D.C. organization. They are also taking busloads of veterans over the last few years to see their memorials in Washington, D.C. We're getting older, all of us, and we need to get them there uh, to see their memorial, which they so rightly deserve. But the bus trips aren't cheap. Each one costs more than $20,000. So these rides are a way to raise some fast cash. But talk to the people who paid to power slide around the corners, and they'll tell you the experience is priceless. You just can't believe what it's like. You know, everybody thinks they can drive. No, right there, right there. But a few got a free pass, thanks to Valley Eye Institute, Poling Auto Parts, and a Special Wish Foundation. Identical twins, Jack and Drew, both have cystic fibrosis, but each also has racing in their blood, so they got to ride along for a few laps. Jack had a death grip on the steering wheel, but, but Drew was, was smiling from ear to ear and even turning the steering wheel that's in the back for him. Let's hear it for Leslie! Woo! But whether you were a young kid or an Uncle Sam, not even the dust could cloud the meaning of the day. The only reason we're, we're here can do things like this is because of our veterans, and uh, you know, that's what I think makes it special.